Dallas Morning News columnist Tim Callishaw, and he says he is the best on Around the Horn. Uh, he dominates there. He's the smartest of all of the uh, writers who appears on Around the Horn. And you know what? I agree with you, Tim. Tim Callishaw, Dallas Morning News, joining us. How are you? I think the numbers bear that out. Dave. I agree. I agree. Is there Are there times when, like, have you ever come close to really getting angry at somebody else on the Around the Horn uh, panel? Um. Like seriously, yeah, some, seriously. Sometimes you you feel like you said something not that you didn't get points for, it, but they didn't they didn't understand what you're saying, or Tony accuses you of saying the wrong thing. Yeah, it, you know it's it's good nature, but yeah, you get frustrated at times. Sure. Who do you think that you could take on that panel? <laughs> I can take them all on a regular basis, sir. No, I mean a fight. Oh, in a fight? Yeah. Um. Uh, um. Uh, uh, everyone but Pablo. He's too crafty. <laughs> I don't know. I think Bomani is sneaky long, though. He may know some. Yeah, he, is. he may know he some is. kung fu or something. He in claims there. to be six foot four, but nobody's ever seen him in person, <laughs> so we don't know. He he's always five seven. He's always sitting know. down, right? We've never seen him. No one's ever seen him. All right. Uh, is are there any more seats on the Cowboys bandwagon this morning? Wow. I, I was trying to book, book the last two for me. I picked this team. For five wins, and they have those five wins. <laughs> Congratulations! Um, but but you know all the times in sports, you know where you say, "God, why didn't I see that coming? Why didn't I see this?" I mean, there's just when you look at what the defense did yesterday, and you look at where we were at the start of the season. No Ware, no Hatcher, no Sean Lee. The guy they drafted to replace Ware still won't play until November. There was just no way to say, "Yeah, they're going to change coordinators to Rod Marinelli, and everything is going to be fine." And Rolando McLean, Rolando McLean's the one that you kind of regret because yeah. this is a guy who obviously had some off the field problems, left football, but he was the ninth pick of the draft four years ago out of Alabama. So he had the talent and he's showing the talent. Um, but it, it's until yesterday, I kind of thought that the running game at DeMarco Murray was keeping the defense from being exposed. And I don't think anybody can say that about the defense anymore after that performance. But it still feels like there's a little trepidation that you just you've been down this road. It seems like it's right. there, there's a false front to this where you go <laughs> and you're going to open up that door and all of a sudden it's going to be a terrible cliff. There's a false front and it wears number nine, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, I mean that's what people think, and they have they have reason to think that it's happened enough times. Now statistically, you can look at Romo and say twenty five fourth quarter comebacks greatest fourth quarter passer rating the numbers say he's pretty good but everybody has these memories of seattle and philadelphia 44 to 6 the washington game two years ago so you're waiting for that to happen but i think they have enough things when you have a running game and an offensive line like this tony romo doesn't have to be great now for this team to win playoff games what if it goes south what happens here uh if it goes like real far south like say the eagles are in the east which is still very possible and the Cowboys maybe get a wild card and lose the first week. That's a good question because before the season, I would have said you give Jason Garrett like a five-year extension. People thought this team was terrible. Now expectations, you win in Seattle, you beat the Saints here. The expectations are through the roof. So now I don't know what happens if it goes badly. You know what? I I was also fascinated over the weekend with the 30 and 30 on uh, the great trade robbery right, with uh, right. Herschel Walker. But the fascinating part is that Jimmy Johnson and Jerry Jones have completely different viewpoints of what happened when they fleeced the Minnesota Vikings. Just the egos of these two guys colliding was just great. I it, loved it. it. And, I, and I was a young, as you know, I was a young hit and beat writer on the Cowboys <laughs> for the Dallas Morning News in 1989. And I, I would say you now Jerry wasn't involved in any kind of football-related decisions week to week back then like he is now but but i do remember him being somewhat involved in the herschel situation uh jimmy won't even acknowledge that could be possible <laughs> of course jimmy also doesn't acknowledge that uh this great trade he, he he tried to trade up in the next draft to draft james francis and lamar Latham, and when he couldn't do it he said okay go ahead and take your running back from florida Oh, I didn't hear that. Oh, no. Yeah, Jimmy doesn't talk a lot about <laughs> not really wanting Emmett and stumbling into it. 
<laughs> okay. It doesn't get a lot of play. Before I let you go, is there any chance that Jimmy Johnson ever gets into the what is, Ring of Honor? Or Ring of Honor? Yeah. Uh, I, I would say no. And uh, uh, I guess if, uh, if Stephen Jones is controlling that one day, uh, maybe there would be a, a thawing of feelings, but I don't really think so because I don't think Stephen likes the way uh, Jimmy uh, uh, handles this whole situation. So I'd say he doesn't need to worry about leaving Florida and putting on shoes and coming to Dallas for that. Are you, Probably not going to happen. Are you doing around the horn later today? I am, sir. I will be on. Should I dedicate the win to you if, if that happens? Can you do that? I mean, I'm not asking too much, Tim. Okay, here you go. Um, could you say, as I told Dan Patrick earlier today on his Well Listen to National Radio show. I will give it a shot, but you know we tape. So oh, they won't they edit can. that out. You they know, can. no, reality's re, watching right now. We could get very quickly to take two. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Thanks, sir. All right, Tim Callishaw, Dallas Morning News.